In the past month, I've made $3,474 with crypto nodes. That works out to a yearly salary of $41,688 while I do nothing and sit on my butt. Now, nodes are only one part of my overall crypto passive income strategy, but I wanna focus on them in this video for three reasons. Reason number one is that I wanna give you an idea of how this aspect of my overall strategy is performing in this otherwise terrible market. Reason number two is that I I get asked about my nodes all the time in comments on YouTube and on Twitter. And reason number three is that I wanna spend a portion of this video going over not what I'm currently running, but crypto knows that I'm going to add to my portfolio very soon and some that I am looking at and considering adding. Okay, let's get into it, starting with my second biggest crypto node income stream, which I should say is quite a bit smaller than the project that's in my number one income slot. First up though is pre-search nodes. If you don't know what pre-search is, you can watch a video right up there all about it, but the short answer is that it is a decentralized crypto based search engine that is completely powered by user run nodes, like the ones that I run, or maybe you run. We all run nodes. Right now, a pre-search node requires 4,000 pre-search tokens to operate, which at today's price is about $158 worth of tokens. And like the majority of the rest of the nodes on this list, when you use those tokens or you use those coins to run the node, you aren't spending them. You're just temporarily locking them up to run the node. You can unlock them and then send them to an exchange and sell them. The vast majority of the projects I'm gonna be talking about on this list are things that I would call utility nodes. They are real nodes that run on real hardware and offer real utility to whatever project they're a part of. With a couple of exceptions, later than the list. One pre-search node currently makes $7.50 per month, which on an initial investment, at least today of $158, that's about a 57% yearly return. Pretty good. I run 40 pre-search nodes, which spit out about 7,600 pre-search tokens per month, or roughly $10.10 .10 per day, which is roughly $303 per month, or $3,636 a year. And of course, this is at today's prices. If we use the all-time high prices of pre-search, that works out to $6,156 per month. And to run these nodes, I spend about $120 per month in hosting fees. I host about half on UpCloud and about half with RackNerd. And I'd be spending a lot less on my hosting fees if I did go 100% RackNerd, which I might be doing in the future. I will link to that hosting provider down down in the description. My overall thoughts on pre-search are still very positive. Yes, the price is way down like everything else, but I have a very positive and optimistic outlook on this one into the future. In the next bull run, I am eyeing prices of a dollar to two dollars or more per token. So like many of these, I am currently on a earn it and hold it strategy. As I earn more pre-search each month, I just let it sit in my pre-search wallet and I either spin up new nodes or I use them for pre-search keyword staking, or I just hang on to them and wait for that next bull run, which is coming, right? It's gonna run around the corner. Here it comes, I can just, I just barely hear it. Next up are my streamer nodes. The streamer project is a decentralized real-time data network that again is powered by user run nodes. Now what's cool about this project is you can uh, stake a variable amount of the data token to run a node. However, there is a maximum amount, which is 10,000 data tokens per node. 10,000 data today is about $234. That node will pay you about $12.88 per month, which is a 58% APY. Now I have 60,000 data tokens, so I run six data nodes. They produce a little over 2,900 data tokens per month, which is about $2.58 per day, or a little over $77 per month, or $927 per year. However, at all time high prices, that would be more like $611 per month. The cool thing about the streamer project is you can actually host up to five nodes per IP address that really cuts down on your hosting costs. And in the case of this one, I only pay about $5 per month to host it. Like many of the other projects on this list, this is one that is an earn and hold because I'm waiting till the next bull run to sell most of what I'm earning with it. I have an optimistic outlook on what's going to happen in the next bull run with this one, because I think the actual 
um, project itself. The company is doing some cool stuff around data. I think the way they operate the entire thing is interesting. Uh, so I'm very hopeful for this one in the next run. And by the way, uh, data tokens, pre-search, a few of the other ones on this list. You can actually all buy these tokens and coins on KuCoin. And if you use the link down in the description, you'll get 10% off of all your trading fees forever. However, like all things, please use the exchange to send your money to buy your coins and then get them off. Don't keep your money on exchanges. We should all be learning that lesson a million times over, shouldn't we? Next up is Raptorium, which is the official node of dinosaurs everywhere. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Raptorium is a secure cryptocurrency and assets platform. They also have the ability to do smart contracts. You need a minimum of 1.8 million RTM coins to run one node, which at today's price is about $3,600. One node will make you $61 per month, which works out to a 20% yearly return. I run one node that has about 2.2 million Raptorium on it, I think. I'm getting somewhere north of 30,000 Raptorium per month, which works out to $2 per day or $61 per month or $732 per year. Now at all time high prices, this one was spitting out nearly $2,400 dollars per month. I really like this project because it's proof of work, had a fair launch, it has a great community, and it's kind of this scrappy uh, self-launch project that I think is high risk, high speculation, but maybe in the next run will be a high payoff. Next one up is Play Up Bull Nodes. This one wants to be a gaming platform where people can play all these different games on their network and all these games are hosted and operated by all these nodes. The current pricing is about $4,400 per node. One node will make you a little under $14 per month, which brings it to a 3.76% yearly return, which is the lowest I think of all the ones I'm gonna talk about on this entire list. I have two of these nodes. They spit out a little under 94,000 bull tokens per month, which is about 91 cents a day or $27.50 per month. Now I didn't pay $4,400 for my nodes. Every time they sell a certain number of nodes, the price goes up. I think I paid like half that for both of mine. So the returns aren't super attractive right now, but I'm kind of treating this like a highly speculative uh, gaming platform play. Once upon a time, you could buy a Gala node, for example, for $1,000 or less, and now they cost $100,000 to buy one of those nodes. So I'm hoping that Playable kind of has a trajectory like that in the future, but again, highly speculative, highly risky. Your guess is as good as mine on these things. Next up, I'm gonna call my miscellaneous category because this is just a couple of different ones that are all kind of not worth talking about to a major degree, so I'm gonna lump them all together. This will be things like my comb nodes or comb hives, my Thor nodes, and my Vaporfy nodes. There's actually one or two other ones in there too, I think that are still somehow operating, but these all together, I think make about $130 per month. Now comb is doing interesting things and they're continuing to build new features and iterate. They seem far from dead, even though the prices are extremely depressed. So maybe there's still some hope with that one. Same with Vaporfy, they've completely revamped the rewards so the nodes aren't spitting out nearly what they used to but they did just build a dex and they're working their own chain which might have already launched i don't know they've got things going on which could be interesting and thor i've kind of just given up hope on uh it makes barely anything and i put a lot of money into it and it doesn't look real good but who knows i've seen crazy things happen in crypto before okay now let's talk about my number one the biggest of all of my crypto node passive income sources. Not only is it the biggest one, but it's also my favorite one out of all of these. And I think the one I've been in the longest by a long shot. And that of course would be Flux. If you don't know what Flux is, I have done several videos which you can watch right up there about Flux and talking about what it is and what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do is a lot. But mainly I would give you the elevator pitch that Flux is trying to be a decentralized Amazon web services. Instead of having a centralized giant data center to host websites or apps or code or what have you on it, Flux takes that network and spreads it out and decentralizes it and lets you and me run the nodes that power that network and we would get rewarded in the process. Now Flux has three different node tiers. Well, technically they have four 
But of the ones that I've been running, there are three different tiers. The biggest one is called the Stratus node, which requires 40,000 flux to operate, which at today's price is a little over $20,000. And it has an APR of 12.57%. The middle node is called a Nimbus node, which requires 12,500 flux to operate, which costs $6,456 today. And that one has an APR of 14.1%. And then finally is a Cumulus node, which requires 1,000 flux to operate. So this one's the most accessible of these three. You can get one of these up and running for about $517 today. And this one actually has the highest APR right now of 22.49%. Now there actually is a fourth tier, if you can call it that. It's actually their shared node, which is the whole flux Titan thing they just launched, which I believe you can use as little as 50 flux to get this going. You go into the Zellcore wallet, which is a fantastic software wallet, by the way. You put your 50 flux in there, you lock it up for a certain duration of three, six, or 12 months, and you get a return. I think the highest return on the 12 month is something like 8%. But if you don't have enough flux to run the smallest tier of the node, then you can stake your flux with Titan and still get a nice return. Me personally, I'm running 12 Stratus nodes and two Nimbus nodes. Now, why am I running the majority of mine as the biggest one with the lowest APR? The simple answer there is I've got a lot of flux and I don't wanna think about it. So I try to consolidate it into as few of nodes as possible. So I just run it and don't think about it. But also these APRs shift constantly as the incentives are on the lowest one, more and more people spin up Cumulus and then the next two tiers APRs go up and vice versa. And it's kind of an open dynamic marketplace capitalist system, which is kind of cool, but I just don't want to think about it. So I just run mostly Stratus with a couple of Nimbus. I mean, it's supposed to be passive income after all, right? So I'm just on the lazy approach when it comes to node running. And there's this really cool dashboard that I will link to down in the description uh, that will show you your nodes and how much they are spitting out uh, in money and uh, flux per month. Uh, shout out to Second TL Mining, who is one of our teachers in Sleep Money Club and also has a great YouTube channel, but he made this whole thing. So um, definitely check that out down in the description. So my 14 total flux nodes give me a total reward per month of 5344 flux, 5,344 flux a month. And that's not just in flux coins, but also in flux parallel assets, which if you don't know what that is, I've also talked about in some other videos, but that works out to about $94.55 per day, $2,876 per month, or $34,512 per year. However, at Flux's all-time high price, that would actually be $17,805 per month. And one quick aside, why do I keep talking about the all-time high prices? Well, because that's my hope that they might return to those prices in the future. Is it likely that all of these projects will return to their all-time highs and go past those prices and more? Well, no, but some of them might. And I think, and I'm confident that a few of them will. So just as a fun exercise to help my long-term thinking, I like to look at their all-time high prices from time to time. But generally speaking, I do try to map out realistic uh, long-term price targets for these that are not based on all-time highs, but what I think they might be worth in the future. To run these Flux nodes, I spend about $700 per month in hosting fees. If you wanna know where I host my Flux nodes, well, it's at hostnodes.online. I've had my nodes here for a while and I love this hosting service. If you use just a standard VPS and you have to install your nodes, you log in to Linux, you have to learn all these commands and various things. However, if you use a service like hostnodes.online, you don't have to do any of that stuff. They make it super, super easy for you. So that's why I recommend this one. And a lot of other people I know use this one and love this one as well. So I will link to hostnodes.online down in my description. And if all that wasn't enough, and maybe it was, I don't know. There's also a really cool aspect of Flux, which makes it the gift that keeps on giving, which is their parallel asset airdrops. Periodically throughout the year, the Flux team takes a snapshot, like a camera, of the entire blockchain and then rewards people a percentage of their holdings back in these parallel assets. The last time they did it, they awarded people Flux AVAX and Flux Ergo, but they just did another snapshot on October 31st. So if you were holding your Flux in the Zellcore wallet, you were in that snapshot. And sometime either at the end of this year or beginning of next, the Flux team will give you a percentage of 
your entire holdings back to you in the form of two new parallel assets. The last time they did it, each asset itself was a little over 5% of your total holdings, which means in my case, because I hold 505,000 flux, whenever they do release those parallel assets, I will be receiving 10% of that back, which is 50,500 flux, which at today's price is a little over $26,000 for doing nothing. One of the beauties of this project and also just a wonderful reward for being a long-term holder. So if you take into consideration all of my nodes and all of their returns for the entire past year, plus the two previous snapshots of peril assets and those rewards, my entire 2022 return of rewards in flux would be 162,000 flux or about $84,969 at today's price, which Looking backwards, retroactively is a little over $7,000 per month that this project has paid me out. Of course, that's at today's price. It's so much more insane at the all time high prices. So quick thoughts on Flux. Obviously, I'm still very excited about this one. As far as a passive income play, this one has been a massive, massive win over the past couple of years. But I'm also incredibly bullish on this one as far as the project goes and the company itself into the future. I love what they're actually building, the utility they're building with it. So for Flux in the future, I'm eyeing price targets of five to $10 or more per coin. So like all the rest of these, I'm just accumulating as much as I can when prices aren't so hot. Now let's talk about some nodes that I will be adding soon, but do not currently run. And also, let me know down in the comments what you think I should look at. What are some nodes that I should be looking at that maybe you love? Let me know. First up is an Ethereum validator. To run an Ethereum validator node, you need 32 Ethereum, which today would cost you about $37,000. It currently gives you a return of 4.85%, or the equivalent of 1.55 Ethereum per year. If you think that return is a little sad, well then hang with me because I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm interested in buying some of these validators. So my current plan is to add at least one Ethereum validator with a maximum of two or three validators over the next six to 12 months, especially if the price of ETH drops below $900. Here's hoping that the bear market just pushes that price down. Now, right now, one validator will make you about $150 per month or a little over $1,800 per year. However, at the all-time high price, that'd be about $7,400 per year. But the really cool thing about this is that Right now, it's only a 4.85% yearly return, but in the future, as they bring more things online, as they shift to fully validating with all these nodes and everything, that return should increase to eight to 12%. And a 12% return on that same 32 Ethereum is 3.84 Ethereum per year, or $18,400 per year. But because I believe ETH isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and this is a very long-term play for me, in the next five plus years, I would not be surprised to see $10,000 Ethereum. And if that happens, each one of these nodes will be paying out over $38,000 per year. So yes, this is an expensive one with not a great return at the moment, but I'm trying to be as future thinking as I can. And as we see with a lot of these things in the node space that are ultra, ultra high risk, maybe it's worth it to have a few that are a little bit more blue chip. The next one up is Neoxa. Now this is a very small project that is one of the many speculative mining plays that I've made. In fact, this is one that I called very early in Sleep Money Club. And a lot of our members who were able to mine this and buy this got to enjoy that huge run up it had. So there's certainly just the play to make some money on this one, but I also think it's a really cool project. They're doing a lot of cool stuff in the gaming space. Now this is a very, like I said, early. I would definitely say a higher risk project. However, they did just release uh, the news that they are going to introduce master nodes very soon. Each master node will require 550,000 Neoxa, which at today's price is about $822 for a node. And what's cool about this one is Neoxa is a proof of work uh, crypto, just like Flux in that you have miners who are mining it to move the blocks, to get the rewards. And the node operators are actually going to get a percentage of those mining rewards, 40%. And right now that works out to about 3.24 million Neoxa per day. Now they haven't released the nodes yet, so I'm just doing some speculation on how much they will earn because it's still very early. But based on that number of daily emissions, let's say that there's 500 nodes that come online in the first month. Each node would earn about 6,480 Neox every single Single day, which works out to be $9.70 per day or $291 per month, which is a whopping 424% 
yearly return. However, before you get too excited and say, wow, I gotta jump on this as soon as possible, or wow, that's totally unsustainable, that'll never work. Just know that this is just because of the small number of nodes at first. As more nodes come online, that number drops dramatically. If there's gonna be a few thousand nodes online, it'll probably be far less than 100% returns, less than 50% returns. If this project, survives the bear market and it gets to become more and more mature with thousands of operating nodes, well then I think the returns will be more like most of the other things on this list. But if you do get in early enough, you get your node up and online in that first one to three months or something like that, you could enjoy some pretty big returns potentially. Now I hold enough Neoxa to currently run six nodes based on these requirements, which based on the above numbers would work out to a little over $1,700 per month with my Neoxa nodes. But at Neoxa's all time high price, that would work out to over $23,000 per month with my six nodes. Let me just reiterate, this one is a small cap. It's a pretty high risk in my opinion, but it shows a lot of potential. I think they have a lot of really cool things going on. So this is gonna be a long-term hold for me. Next up is DAG or Constellation. These nodes require 250,000 of their tokens, which is today's price is about $12,400. For that, you'd be returning about $176 per month or $2,100 per year, which is roughly a 17% yearly return. And if DAG were to return to its all-time high price, this node would be making you about $1,590 per month. So why am I looking at this? Well, I've actually already started dollar cost averaging and accumulating DAG, but I think the technology there is really interesting, certainly high risk, but there's a lot of high potential if this one were to work out. Quite a number of people on the team working hard on this one, a very, very excitable community, almost to a fault. But DAG along with Quant, along with HBAR are all DAG based projects that I am looking at accumulating during this bear market. So those are the ones that I don't run yet, but I am currently working towards adding. Now, very briefly, let me tell you a couple more that that I'm looking at that I'm just researching right now and haven't decided if I am or am not going to get nodes for. First up is Element United. This is one that first came to my attention because of my pal Chris McCauley on YouTube. It's an ambitious project where they want to digitize gold so they don't actually have to dig it up. They put digital rights on the gold without actually pulling it out of the ground. Very ambitious. I'm not convinced whether that will actually work out, but I certainly see the potential, so I'm currently researching it. The next one is the Morpheus Network. Morpheus, Dorpheus, Morpheus, go eat some walruses. Which like VeChain is a supply chain based crypto. Supply chain is one of those things that I think the blockchain is a perfect fit for. And Morpheus network has master nodes. I don't know very much about them yet. I'm still in the research phase, but those two things together make me interested and worth spending the time on it. Now, like I said, nodes are only one part of my overall crypto passive income strategy. You should definitely watch this video where I tell you exactly why I have added a bunch of Bitcoin mining hardware to this strategy. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video, Node Runners. Goodbye.